didn't make it to the race this year, I thought I would put together this little video to show you how this whole thing is put together and basically how it works. The Chuggalug was designed to be field assembled in order to simplify transportation. First, the frame is set up on blocks for assembly. The next step in the assembly process is to set these 2x4 struts into place, fore and aft. These struts will, in turn, support the outriggers. The struts are held in place with nuts and threaded rod cut to length. The hardware was scavenged from last year's boat. Now the outriggers can be installed. Each outrigger is made up of 24 2 liter bottles. That gives a displacement of about 96 pounds per outrigger. These are bolted into place in a similar fashion. The next step is to install the paddle wheels. Together, they make up the largest percentage of the weight of the boat itself. The circular plywood discs that the blazer mounted to were scavenged from Mike's old paddle wheel from last year. Each wheel mounts onto a steel plate using four bolts. The plates are welded onto the ends of the crankshafts, providing a direct drive from the pedal cranks to the wheels. This simple setup was implemented in direct response to last year's failure of a more complex drive system. The installation of the paddle wheels was the single most time-consuming part of the assembly process. As you can probably tell from this time-lapse footage. In fact, let's just skip to the end. There, that's got it now. The crankshafts are prevented from sliding side to side by these plywood discs, which are held in place by hose clamps. Now it's time to install the rudder. Since the steering didn't work at all in my previous year's design, this rudder was designed to be oversized. The rudder is operated by a system of ropes and pulleys that will be demonstrated later. As long as we're back here, we'll go ahead and install some of the more decorative effects. And we'll go ahead and install the ones in the front. You guessed it, more 2 liter bottles. Now it's time to add the main float. This is made out of 56 individual 2 liter bottles, giving a total displacement of about 225 pounds. These bottles are held in place by a tie down strap at either end. Now, a few finishing touches like the seat cushion and the dragon's tail. And we're done. Now you'll notice that up until now I haven't had a steering wheel. As you can see, having a steering wheel may have made it a little difficult to get it out, so I made mine. So I simply climb into the seat. Install the wheel. Turning the steering wheel pulls on the rope, which, in turn through the system of pulleys, forces the rudder to move side to side. 
Thanks for watching. See you next year.